population growth is claimed to be one of the biggest problems in our world. It is helping to speed up the rate of natural resources degradation and pollution. However, with technological innovations and everyone taking a part, the little things can add together and help reduce our impact on Earth. The Solo Decathlon is a collegiate showcase of green homes. As the human population increases, energy consumption increases along with the degradation of natural resources in space. The Solo Decathlon hosted by the U.S. Department of Energy showcases methods to reduce carbon emissions and promote efficient uses of energy using energy derived from the sun. With the collaboration of numerous college students and teams, each green home has unique features to reduce the ecological impact on Earth. What can you do to reduce your impact? Well, what can you do? Carpool. But that's a big waste of time. It takes me 15 minutes to go pick that other person up. It's an extra half hour a day. My counter to that is, when you carpool and you share a ride, if you're driving an hour there and an hour back, if it takes you an extra 15 minutes to go pick that person up, you're down 15 minutes, but you've gained 45. You've gained 45 minutes because you don't have to drive. Somebody else is driving that car. You could read your newspaper. We all have handheld devices in our pockets now. You could be checking your email. You could be doing anything you want in that car for 45 minutes. So carpooling does not waste your time. It saves your time. The longer the trip is, the more time you're saving. And you're cutting, you do not need an eight-cylinder vehicle with 300 horsepower 
to haul one person around or to go to the store and get a gallon of milk. So changing your transportation habits. First thing I think people should really try to do. Use mass transit. Use the, the mark train. Use buses, carpool, and if you can, use a, a hybrid or an electric car if you're in range. So, I'd say start with the big things. Try to change your transportation habits. Then second to that is heating and cooling. That's changing your thermostat. Okay, they made fun of Jimmy Carter because he wore a sweater. All right, and said, America, we need you to turn down your thermostats in the winter and turn them off. Open the windows in the summer. In physics, I talk about thermodynamics and heat transfer through a person's wall. And one of the variables in that equation is delta T, the change, or sorry, yes, the, the difference in temperature between the outside world and inside your house. Okay? And so if it is 100 degrees outside and you want to pump your house down to 60 degrees, that is a 40 degree difference. If you are instead willing to have your house at 80 degrees and it's 100 degrees outside, that's a 20 degree difference. That equation is ultimately set equal to Q, and Q is heat energy. Where does that energy come from? Your electric company, or maybe your natural gas company. Okay? Um, my point is this, you have cut your energy in half by operating within a 20 degree temperature difference instead of a 40 degree temperature difference. So, that's remember that's 25% of your carbon footprint. And so now, instead of screwing one light bulb in and giving yourself a green light to do everything else that creates all this carbon, you've now ta maybe taken your transportation carbon footprint and cut that in half, now your heating and cooling carbon footprint and cut that in half, and now you are making significant changes in your footprint. At the Solar Decathlon, college teams designed green homes that competed for the most cost-effective, energy-efficient, and attractive home. Here are a few of the homes that were showcased at the Solar Decathlon. All of the homes on display at the Solar Decathlon were net-zero energy homes, meaning there is a net-zero energy consumption and zero carbon emissions annually. The Southern California Institute of Architecture and California Institute of Technology collaborated to design CHIP, or Compact Hyperinsulated Prototype. It is the perfect home for a person with an active lifestyle as it includes a small but sufficient kitchen that allows on-the-go cooking while having the unique stair style layout which allows for multiple layers, which replaces the room style partitioning of a regular home. It uses lightweight modular furniture that fits perfectly into a wall, making cleanup a simple task. Team New York solar roof pod allowed for a green expansion and density such as New York City. Intended to be built on rooftops of high-rise apartment buildings, the solar roof pod can efficiently take advantage of the abundant solar energy. University of Maryland's watershed became the winner of the 2011 Solo Decathlon because it incorporated cost effectiveness, aesthetics, and energy efficiency. It featured both a green roof and a solar panel equipped roof and had built in filters that cleaned the wastewater from showers and watered the watershed outside the home.
Mr. Lee Bristol installed 14 solar panels and a solar water heater. The sun heats up the fluid in the hot water heater. The fluid then gets pumped into the house to heat water. In the basement, he also has foam air ceiling plus 6 inches of fiberglass insulation. In addition to being more energy efficient, Mr. Bristol saves money through 30% federal tax credit, Maryland grant, and Montgomery County tax credit. He also has his Toyota Prius hybrid plugged into his solar panels, which gets him up to 85 miles per gallon on his 15 mile commute to work. Leaving me alone. I always fight. 